Hello guys, Martin here and today we will take a look at how we can render the wireframe on our models. So this is a three-part process to get the wireframe to show up and this tutorial is um, pointed at Mental Ray as the render engine. So if you're using something like Maya software or Maya hardware, this will not work. So the first thing that we need to do um, to get the wireframe to show up is to assign a new material to our model and we can use something like a blim and if uh, when we get to the attribute of our color or our material we need to get to the shading group of that material so to do that we press this button right here and we get to the Blin 3 shading group. So if we um, open up the mental ray and open up the contours and enable contour rendering, this is, uh, this is essentially what makes the wireframe to show up. So we can change the color, we can change the alpha or uh, how much the lines will be visible. We can uh, change the thickness of our lines. Um, relative is uh, relative to the scene scale and absolute is always the same. So we can set this to an absolute thickness with uh, something like 0.3 and the color we can change to a light blue. Okay, so if we open up the render window and take a render of this, we can see that no lines or no wireframe is appearing. So as I, as I said, this is a three-part process. So what we have to do is to go to our render settings and in our render using mental ray, uh, settings we have to go to the features tab and scroll all the way down to contours and open that up and we have to hit the enable contour rendering so now when we have done that let's take a render and see what we get still nothing so the last thing that we have to do to get this to work is to open up the draw by property difference and in here we have to check around all polyphases. So let's check that and let's try to take a render once again. And we can still see that we get nothing and this is because I am using Maya 2014 and if we go to the quality options you can see that my sampling mode is set to unified sampling um, unified sampling is actually not supported by the uh, contour rendering so we have to change this to legacy sampling mode and legacy sampling mode is actually what Maya 2013 and lower are using so uh, if you're using lower than 2014 you don't have to take this step uh, now when we render this we should see that our wireframe is appearing okay great now we have our basic wireframe on our models and you can see right now it's very um, low quality and uh, the barrels are low quality as well so we can start by uh, fixing that um, you can see right now uh, the barrels are very low res. Um, I'm gonna take a uh, smooth mesh preview by pressing the 3 key and uh, the wireframe will actually be not be rendered like this. It will actually be rendered as a 2 times subdivided model. So if we take a new render of this you can see that the wireframe is a lot lot denser now 
Um, so to render the uh, original wireframe, you have to be in uh, uh, not the smooth mesh preview. Okay, so it looks quite good so far, but we can still see that the lines are breaking up and the wireframe is low quality overall. So to fix this, we can. Uh, I actually want to take the. Uh, no, that's fine. I leave the line width. But in our features tab, in our contours menu, we can uh, start to take up the samples. So if I take something like a over sample of three. And let me save this image for comparison and take a quick render. We can see that the wireframe is a lot lot nicer and uh, it doesn't breaking up and uh, yeah looks good. So you can if you like to you can play around with uh, the settings uh, for example the filter type and uh, a uh, few different options like the line thickness and yeah so that's a quick look at how we can render the wireframe in Maya in the mental ray render engine uh, remember the three steps that you have to take to get the wireframe and uh, yeah thanks for watching uh, a comment rating is much appreciated so I see you next time